Today, I'm gonna go help Colin with a video that he's looking to shoot. And by help, I mean, I'm just gonna kinda like ride my bike beside him. Also, this video is going to be somewhat sponsored in part by a company that has been on this channel before. They're called Unique. They make this tool. We did a did it suck about this stepless ratcheting multi-tool. Uh, I think I determined that I liked it a lot better than uh, another like multi-tool kit that I own. Hey, the stepless ratcheting tool, they also sent me this, a CO2 thing, but also it's a puncture fix kit. And I know you're not gonna believe me, like this is gonna be somewhat unbelievable, but I've actually brought this with me on the majority of mountain bike rides that I've gone on, at least if I have a backpack with me. If not, then I'm like completely out of luck. But it starts to make a lot more sense when you know that I've brought this with me on every ride without a CO2 canister. And uh, like now that I'm thinking of it, literally not had a pump with me on any of those rides. So somewhat fruitless if, uh, if I did end up having to use this. I could fix a puncture, I couldn't put air back in. So you've got the unique puncture fix kit. This end here houses some CO2. This is your CO2 head with a pressure release. So you can control when CO2 stays in or comes out. On this end is the housing for the included bacon strips. There is two different sizes. These are the smaller ones. I used one of these today. And these are the bigger ones for bigger punctures. This is just a nice CNC machined piece of aluminum, very light. On this end, when you see me and Colin fixing the puncture that we created in the woods, this is what holds the bacon strip. But the cool part is, and if I had have actually done my homework before I went out, is it has a hole machined through it to this end. The reason that's cool is this end, the threaded end, is the same thread as a Presta valve, which means it'll go in to the end of your CO2 applicator. Then you've got an applicator with a hole through it that can accept CO2 air through it. So once you get your CO2 on there and you pick the bacon strip that you wanna use, pierce it through the hole in the tire and actually take that opportunity to fill it back up. And then you're done. You pull it out, let the sealant do its thing. You've got air in the tire exactly how you want. Start riding again. There's a pump in, there's a pump in here, so all right. I think I have everything. Damn stuff. Someone commented in the last video, it's good to see you're not great at everything. I'm literally not great at anything. Count. Count. Yeah. This tread is really leaving quite a bit to be desired. Oh, it's wet. It looks like something. This is a mountain bike trail, for sure. Look at it. It's like choose your own party. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. You could go wherever you want except here. This is a problem. It'd take you right into the water. If we get rid of these branches here. Yeah. If you look up here just the right way, it almost looks like BC loam. I'm gonna cherry pick a little bit. I'm not gonna do it right in the center because there's nothing there. So maybe here, is that still fair? Move in a little bit. Ah, like yeah. here? I don't wanna poke through the tape, but, oh God. Get out of the way of some sealant. 
it's like kind of sealed. It's sort of sealed, which means the bacon strip's probably gonna work no problem. I, I'm literally never done this. Oh, that seems worse. Uh, seems to be working. Yeah, like it, yes, it's working. There's a rocky descent here that Colin and I actually made a video on like three or four years ago. I had the felt, I think it went over the bears. And uh, we'll see if this Blake, Blaken strip will, uh, We'll hold tight. Wherever it is. There it is. Surprise, surprise, no real surprise. So fairly anticlimactically, um, the bacon strip went into the tire, sealed it, the sealant did its job, and it held air for the rest of the ride. I don't see a whole lot of reason as to why that like perfectly round hole wouldn't be sealed and rideable for a number of days and rides to come. No doubt it would get you home. But another kind of funny note to take into consideration, when I started this video and I said, I've been taking this plug kit out without any CO2 or without a, a pump, anything to put air back into the tire whatsoever, I actually didn't even use a pump when I sealed the hole that we created. Now, continuing on with the fact that this is indeed a little bit sponsored, um, I understand that these, these like plug kits, that you can get them from a few different companies now, but I think probably the, the most attractive and best part about this one, the unique, the same, same kind of build quality as the stepless ratchet tool, is mostly going to come down to build quality, the aluminum CNC'd finish that it is, but more importantly, price. 6015 for the CO2 inflator with the applicator and the ability to actually throw air into the tire through the bacon strip so you don't need to do two steps. It's all in one. I'm gonna to link to this tubeless puncture repair kit below, obviously. I'm also gonna to link to the stepless ratchet tool. Both of these are like Lazine quality build. I've got zero qualms about recommending either one of these. This one, more so now that I actually have taken the time to use it once, the comfort level is way up here. All right, this was completely worthwhile. Very glad that I made this video. If you're just someone who likes the content, wants to support the channel, you can do that through Patreon. You can purchase the stuff that I review and link below. Or my favorite way is get a drawing from me with sticker pack orders or merch orders, like hat orders, at spindat.com. Also, by the way, just for fun, I... Um Warehouse uh, version 0.01.